What is your love language? Relationship counselor Gary Chapman, author of Five Love Languages, concluded after 35 years of marriage counseling that there are essentially five emotional love languages in which people can speak, show, and understand love. People in relationships often have different love languages, which is why as couples progress over time, they may run into conflicts when they feel misunderstood, neglected, or smothered. Common thoughts people may have when their love languages clash are, I wish he could love me the way I do, and if only she could give me more space. Does this sound familiar to you? Understanding how the two of you communicate love is important in order to grow together in your relationship. Here are Chapman's five types of love languages. 1. Words of affirmation. This type of love language involves the use of words to show that you love someone. Someone who prefers this love language would rather hear you say I love you and other compliments. They value uplifting words that demonstrate you are supportive and considerate of them. Harsh, negative, and insulting comments should be avoided because they cut deeply and aren't easily forgotten or forgiven. 2. Quality time. This love language involves giving your partner your undivided attention. Unlike using words of affirmation, Someone with this love language would appreciate it more if their partner spends time with them. It's normal for schedules to fill up as you get older with more responsibilities on your plate, but it's important that you make time in between to be with your lover. Distractions, postponed dates, or failing to listen attentively can all make these individuals feel hurt and disappointed. 3. Receiving Gifts Someone with this love language prefers receiving gifts to feel loved. This doesn't necessarily mean that the person is materialistic. They most likely find it meaningful or thoughtful when they know you've stumbled upon something that reminded you of them. It makes them feel appreciated when you take the time to find something right just for them. It's not about how expensive the gift is or whether it's a designer brand. Instead, the individual cares more about how much you know them. Four. Acts of service. Have you ever heard of the saying, actions speak louder than words? For people with this love language, this particular quote fits them perfectly. These individuals prefer their partners to help them out when things get complicated in life. Lending a helping hand is the best way to win their heart. It is best advised not to make broken promises, show laziness, or have a poor work ethic. People with this love language often appreciate the favors you do for them and value any hard work you do that shows you were thinking about them. 5. Physical Touch This love language involves everyday physical connections such as hand-holding, hugging, cuddling, kissing, and any other type of reaffirming physical contact. People who identify with this love language prefer affectionate touches over kind words and compliments. This doesn't necessarily mean they are aggressive about public displays of affection, but being touchy-feely with them does make these individuals feel loved and appreciated. Any form of physical abuse or harsh touching is never tolerated from them. Which of these types is your love language? Please share your thoughts with us below. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more content from Psych2Go and check out our Patreon. Thanks for watching!